This is the story of Reina, a beautiful 22-year-old Filipina domestic worker. Reina was born and raised in Batangas City, Philippines, as the eldest daughter of a poor family. Her parents struggled to make ends meet, and with five children to feed, it was a constant battle. Reina had three younger brothers and two younger sisters, and she quickly learned the importance of hard work and determination. At the age of 12, Reina began working odd jobs to help bring in some money to support her family. She sold vegetables in the market, washed clothes for neighbors, and did anything else she could find to make ends meet. At the age of 19, Reina landed a job as a domestic worker for a wealthy Filipino family in Davao City. The pay was not very good, but it was enough to send some money back home to her family. She worked diligently and did her best to please her employers, but unfortunately, she lost her job when the family decided to move to Singapore. Feeling discouraged but determined to keep going, Reina continued to look for work. One day, an unexpected opportunity came her way. A family in Hong Kong was looking for a domestic worker, and they were willing to pay a higher salary than she had ever earned before. Reina couldn't believe her luck. She had always dreamed of seeing the world and experiencing new things, but she never had the means to do so. Now, this job offer was giving her a chance to travel to a new country, earn a better living, and make a better life for herself and her family. Excited yet nervous, Reina accepted the job offer and started making arrangements to travel to Hong Kong. She packed her bags with her few belongings, bid farewell to her family, and set off on a new adventure. The agency representing her new employer had taken care of all the arrangements for her journey to Hong Kong. Reina was grateful for their assistance, but she couldn't help but feel a sense of apprehension about the unknown. As Reina boarded the plane to Hong Kong, she felt a mix of emotions, excitement, anticipation, and nervousness. She had never traveled outside the Philippines before, let alone to a new country where she would be living and working for the next two years. During the flight, Reina's mind raced with thoughts of what her new life in Hong Kong would be like. She wondered if her new employers would be kind and understanding, or if they would be difficult to work with. She hoped that the new job would be a positive experience, both financially and personally. After a few hours, Reina finally arrived in Hong Kong. The city was bustling and busy, with crowds of people moving about in all directions. It was a stark contrast to the smaller city of Batangas where she grew up. As she made her way to her new employer's house, Reina couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement when seeing all the towering skyscrapers and modern buildings that surrounded her. It was a far cry from the simple life she was accustomed to. Finally, Reina arrived at her new employer's home. Reina immediately experienced disappointment when she first met her new employers. They seemed cold and distant, never bothering to smile or offer a warm greeting. They introduced themselves as ma'am and sir, and instructed her to address them as such at all times. Despite their initial cold demeanor, Reina remained optimistic. She was determined to work hard and make a good impression on her new employers. She knew that this job the opportunity to help her family, and she couldn't afford to mess it up. As the days passed, Reina settled into her new routine. She woke up early each morning to prepare breakfast, clean the house, and attend to the needs of her employers. She was constantly on her feet, moving from one task to another, trying her best to keep up with their demands. But no matter how hard she worked, her employers never seemed satisfied. They would nitpick at her work, find fault in even the smallest things, and criticize her at every turn. Reina began to feel demoralized, wondering if she would ever be able to meet their expectations. On top of her demanding job, Reina also had to contend with homesickness. She missed her family terribly and longed to hear their voices and to eventually see them again someday. At night, when she was in bed, she would look at old photos of her family on her smartphone, imagining herself back home with her loved ones. Her smartphone was not able to connect to a mobile phone provider because the family did not allow her to talk on the phone. They expected her to work full-time without any distractions. Reina continued to work diligently, hoping that her efforts would eventually be recognized and appreciated. She reminded herself that this job was not just for herself, but for the betterment of her family as well. If you are enjoying this video, I'd like to ask you to do me a big favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel for more of our videos. 
Liking and subscribing helps us so much, and I really appreciate your support. As the weeks went by, Reina felt as though her responsibilities kept piling up. Her employers were becoming more and more demanding, and it seemed like they had no appreciation for all of the hard work that she was putting in. One of the most difficult demands that they placed on her was to wake up every two to three hours throughout the night to check on their children. Reina was barely getting any sleep, and she was starting to feel exhausted and run down. To make matters worse, the wife was becoming increasingly strict with her. She demanded that Reina never look directly into their eyes when speaking with them, which made it difficult for Reina to communicate effectively. She felt like she was constantly walking on eggshells, afraid to make even the slightest mistake. One morning, Reina did not wake up on time. She was physically exhausted and forgot to set her alarm the night before. The wife burst into the room where Reina was sleeping and verbally abused her. She told Reina that she was hired to serve the family and they expected her to be on duty at all times and to never be late again. This really shook Reina because the severity of the verbal abuse she received from the wife was nothing like she had ever experienced before. Despite all of this, Reina refused to give up. She knew that this job was her only chance to provide for her family, and she was determined to see it through to the end. She began to develop a thick skin, learning to brush off the criticisms and harsh words that were constantly being thrown her way. But deep down, she was still struggling. She missed her family terribly, and the constant demands of her job were taking a toll on her both physically and emotionally. When she was alone, she would often find herself bursting into tears and crying uncontrollably. It was the only way she could release all the terrible stress that was building up inside of her. She was careful and made sure that she would never let the family see her cry. However, the situation was increasingly getting worse. Reina was shocked and terrified when the husband began getting physically aggressive with her. It started out with an occurrence once a week and became more frequent. She had never experienced anything like this before, and she didn't know how to react. She tried to avoid him as much as possible, but it was difficult when she was constantly working in close proximity to him. Things got even worse when the wife went shopping with her friends one day. While she was gone, the male employer began to grope Reina from behind as she was cooking, cleaning, and washing dishes. Reina was frozen with fear, unsure of what to do or how to react. When the wife returned home, the abuse would end until she left again and the children were in school. Every time the wife would leave the house, Reina feared what might happen. Sometimes the man would leave her alone if he was busy with his work. But the frequent incidents had left a deep impression on Reina. She felt violated and helpless, and she was terrified. She began to dread waking up each day, afraid of what might happen when she was alone with the male employer. One mid-morning, the wife had left to attend a benefit with her friends, and the children had gone to school. The husband had spilled water on his nightstand next to his bed and asked Reina to clean up the mess that he had made. Reina, following orders, went to the bedroom to clean up the spilled water. However, once inside, the husband followed her and closed the door. He then proceeded to abuse her, both physically and emotionally. This traumatic incident devastated Reina. She felt violated and powerless, not knowing what to do next. She had no friends there to seek help and advice. Reina couldn't take the abuse anymore and decided to take action. One day, when everyone had left, Reina knocked on the door of the neighbor across the hall and their domestic worker answered the door. Luckily, that family was out for the day and Reina broke down and poured her heart out to the kind lady. The lady was able to contact a non-profit organization that helps abuse domestic workers. The organization was able to help Reina escape from the abusive household and they provided her with a safe place to stay. With the help of the organization, Reina was able to file charges against her abuser, but he was never arrested or charged. Reina had no proof of her abuse, and the wife told authorities that she had never been left alone in the home with the husband. There was also no visible physical abuse on Reina's body. The wife had also claimed that she witnessed Reina making discreet advances towards her husband at times, and they were close to terminating her position. Reina received counseling and support to help her heal from the trauma she experienced. She was eventually able to return back home to her family in Batongo City. 
she was greeted with open arms by her siblings and parents who were overjoyed to see her again. Filipina domestic workers are one of the most vulnerable groups of migrant workers abroad, with reports of abuse, exploitation, and human trafficking being widespread. According to the Philippine Overseas Employment Administration, there were around 2.2 million Filipinos working as domestic helpers abroad as of 2021. A significant number of them are believed to be subjected to various forms of abuse. Reports suggest that these workers often face long working hours, low wages, confiscation of passports, physical and sexual abuse, and forced labor. The Philippine government has taken several steps to address this issue, including the signing of bilateral agreements with other countries and the establishment of overseas welfare offices. However, more needs to be done to protect the rights of these workers and prevent further cases of abuse. With her courage and determination, Reina was eventually able to overcome the hardships she faced and created a better life for herself and for her family. After returning back to the Philippines, Reina was able to find work in Cebu. Through this job, Reina met a nice man from Australia. He treated her with kindness and respect, and she fell in love with him. They were married and she moved to Australia and is now employed earning a decent salary of her own, and she is able to regularly send money back home to help her family. We appreciate that she was able to share her story with us, and to raise awareness about the abuse that many domestic Filipina workers face. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can do me a big favor by hitting the like button. It really helps promote this channel so other people can find us. Also, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you can be alerted when our next video is released. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon.